हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑन द मेमोरी बेस क्वेश्चन माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर हरीशकर यू कैन सिंपली फॉलो माय यूट्यूब चैनल वेयर यू कैन फाइंड द वेरियस पी वाई क्वेश्चन एज वेल एज द मेमोरी बेस क्वेश्चन ऑफ द गेट 2024 मैथमेटिक्स यू कैन आल्सो सी द सम अदर लेक्चर्स रिलेटेड टू द नोमेरिकल इंटीग्रेशन मैक्सिमा मिनिमा डायरेक्शनल डेरिवेटिव एंड मेनी मोर अवेलेबल हियर सो नाउ द टूडे आई हैव सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन विच आई रिसीव फ्रॉम सम स्टूडेंट्स एंड इट्स ए मेमरी बेस्ड क्वेश्चन the partial derivative exists directional derivative exists and so on again can you solve this question with the 10 to 15 second time period of course you can do that how if you watch my this lecture that is a directional derivative for this part b while when you have seen my lectures on the continuity and differentiability then this lecture you can solve this questions within the 10 to 15 second time period firstly how you can see the partial derivative of f at 0 exist or not so what is the meaning of that limit x approaches 0 at comma 0 comma 0 minus f of 0 comma 0 over x this is the definition of the fx now you can see the y is a 0 when y is non zero this case when y is equal to 0 so the answer is 0 minus 0 is 0 can you find the partial derivative of y it will be f of 0 comma y Minus f of zero comma zero over y. So since y is my non-zero, I can use it here. When x is zero, it will be my only y. It will be one minus cos of zero. F of zero is zero. So y will be cancelled. Cos zero will be my one. So one minus one is zero. So yes, the partial derivative both exist and they are zero. Fine. Now, how you can check about the uh, continuity? We can check it firstly continuity. Clearly say, one minus cos x square over y square is my bounded function. Fine, it lies between minus one two plus one. So if I take this x square plus y square multiply on the both side, it will be here. Fine. Now take the limit as x comma y both are zero. So this value will be zero. This value will be zero. What does it means? Limit of given function is my zero. Which is same of this? Yes, it is my continuous. Sorry, it is continuous. Whether it's a differentiable, we have to check it. Clear? So, is the continuity is fine? Or otherwise, uh, what is the other shortcut tricks? As I told you, whenever the degree of the numerator, whenever the degree of numerator is greater than of the degree of the denominator, answer will always be zero at the point zero. So you can see the degree of the denominator is one because This is my bounded function, so that's why this value will goes to the zero. How you can check the differentiability? Again, a very simple at the point zero. So I can say f of x minus f of zero minus a h minus b k divided by h square plus k square. What is the a and b? Where a is the partial derivative of f with respect to x and b with here. So as I obtained from the first part, both are my zero. This value will be zero. This value will be zero. If I substitute here, it will be h square plus k square, one minus cos h square over k square divided by h square plus k square will be cancelled out. So one minus cos h square over k square. Now clearly say this has different values because if you simply take h is zero, the answer will be one. If I take h is my one, k is my one, then definitely this answer is not one. So it means the limit is not unique. It means the function is not differentiable. So this option cancel. This option correct option. Fine. Now the function, if as I told you in my previous lecture, if the function is differentiable, then this option is automatically the correct option. But here we have proved that the function is not differentiable. Then how you can check the differentiability? Uh, uh, directional derivative. Again, a very simple approach. As h approaches zero, h of a, h of b minus f of zero comma zero divided by where a and b are my directions. Again, it depending upon that whether b is equal to zero or b is my non-zero. Fine. So if I substitute here, it will be root h square plus a square. So h will be common. A square plus b square. One minus cos. A square over B square, fine divided by H, so that H will be cancelled out. 
Now what is the answer of this? It will be a square plus b square 1 minus cos a square over b square. Now we have to check whether it is existence for all or not. So it depending upon the two cases, whether b is 0 or non 0. If b is my non 0, then definitely it exists for all. Fine, because it is a finite, it is a finite. When b is equal to 0, then what is this definition means? h of a comma 0 minus 0 comma 0 over h. So what is that? 0 comma 0 is 0. When y is equal to 0, f is my 0. So this is also 0 that again exists them. So what does it mean? Both the derivatives exist. So it is also the correct option. So A, C and D are the correct answers. So if in the examination they are asked you which one is the wrong answer, then this is the wrong answer. Otherwise, this is the correct answer. So if you are new to my group, you can simply scan and join my WhatsApp group so that we, uh, you can uh, get your discussions with me through the various shortcut tricks. I hope you can simply like this video. We will see some more lectures in the next lectures. Till then, you can simply like, share and comment on video. Best of luck students. Happy learning.